So, he that believe not is condemned. That is the action of distinguishing. So, notice John 5. The condemnation or the judgment is in the future. John 8 verse 10. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? Next verse. She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Had no man distinguished condemned. So the distinguishing will be unbelief. That's the judgment. Unbelief is death. And that's exactly what happened to uh, in Genesis chapter 2 verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Next verse. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely die. He didn't say, I will kill you. The day you eat it, the day you eat it, the day you eat it, you have eaten death. So the death is in the eating of it. The eating of it is in your choice. So you judge yourself by yourself. What we call the judgment of God is actually self-destruct. You self-destruct. You destroy yourself by your choice. That's why judgment here or the wrath of God is man-made. John 8, 10 to 11 again deals with katakrino to distinguish Romans chapter 8 verse 34 Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for who us. Who is he that condemneth? Condemnation ended with the sacrificial work of Christ for those who believe. So nobody can condemn you. You believe in Christ, you are free from condemnation. Romans 14, 23, 1 Corinthians eleven thirty two. 32, for further study, Hebrews eleven seven, and 2 Peter 2, 6. So, what will be judged? He that believeth is not condemned. He that believeth not is condemned. So what is judged? Unbelief. The judgment is a judgment of unbelief. 